Etzno is one of the largest Native American civilizations north of Mexico that existed during the Great Bend aspect. Roughly from 1350 until about 1750, it was near a lot of the bison herds. And so due to that, they would have relatively easy access to go out and hunt these uh, bison and other large animals like them. So some of the things that we've been finding within our main dig site include a lot of bison bones and other animal bones lithic tools and projectile points, scrapers used to process bison hides, as well as different knives and little drills and different things to poke holes in uh, bison hides. So just a lot of lithic technology that indicates that they were doing a lot more bison processing than what we might have been thinking originally. There's a lot of ceramics we've been digging up as well as a lot of really cool features that might be houses one of the most exciting finds has been a ground stone. And so what that essentially is a large stone that would be used to process different kinds of plants. A main plant type that would be used for that would be corn. So what they would do is place that corn on top of the ground stone and then grab another smaller rock and then just kind of break it down on top of that. With this ground stone that we recovered, we expected to find starch instead Absolutely zero starch has been recovered, uh, so we don't think that it had very much to do with corn. We recently may have identified corn smut on the ground stone, which is a type of fungus. It grows on the cobs of corn, and so we might have an actual food source that was being used on them that is still indicative of corn, just not the corn that we were expecting. But another large thing going on with that ground stone is that we've been finding possible helminth eggs on that. Helminths are parasites, and so different ones have different environments that they normally live in. And so with finding them on here, it allows us to not only discover more about the environment and climate and living conditions going on in the area and how crowded it actually may have been in a given area. Because we do know that there were a whole lot of people there, but we don't know exactly how close everyone would have lived together at all times. There has been noted use of the bison gallbladders as a pigment among different tribes in the Great Plains. And we've also been finding evidence of breaking a bison gallbladders down into a pigment on the ground stone. That kind of evidence comes in the form of these helminths and these fungal spores. You typically don't end up seeing a whole lot of evidence of paint processing, so it would just be very exciting to find. What we're doing at Etsnoa is extremely important because not only does it highlight that culture in North America and the Americas as a whole was a lot more diverse, but it also allows us to repiece a history that is at the exact point of contact for this tribe when they were first meeting the conquistadors and what exactly happened with them. And it also allows us to get a lot more information about the ancestral witch job. All of these are just really good things and I can't wait until we get more information on them and delve further into the history of it all.